Whitworth Police Chief you just saw there is no longer serving the city and today was Matt Libby's last day. It was an abrupt uh, com change for the community who questioned whether he was actually forced to leave. Alyssa Jackson is joining us now after getting those answers. What did you find out from the uh, city manager today? Well, Dawn, I sat down with him earlier this afternoon and city manager Steve Davis refuted claims that Matt Libby was forced to retire. His relationship with the city manager was strained. There's history there that we'll get into in just a moment, but Davis says they gave him options, but it sounds like it was more of an ultimatum and here's why. Matt Libby served Port Wentworth for more than 30 years. About a third of that was as the police chief. His party words in his retirement letter, quote, it's been my honor to serve this community. I wish the city and the department well. In Port Wentworth's release, they say under his leadership, the city has seen a dynamic change. Growing the police department and being one of the first to implement body cameras before it was legally required. But the relationship between Libby and the city manager was rocky, which sounds like it's a large part of why he retired. He was working to make maneuvers to um, undermine the leadership. Davis says they aren't ready to make it public what Libby did. He disputed rumors that Libby was forced to go. Davis says he was given a choice between retirement or an internal investigation into violations. There weren't just one or two. There was there was several, um, including you know violations of financial policy. Okay, so he was mishandling funds. Violation of financial policies. There is a history between Steve Davis and Matt Libby. When Davis was brought on as interim city manager in 2019, he fired Libby, who was a director of public safety at the time. Libby was reinstated by council three months later after Davis was suspended from his role as the interim city administrator. Libby also took on an additional role as chief and interim city manager just last year. It only lasted for a couple of days. I don't have a personal vendetta or anything like that on him. You know, I wish him well. Um, you saw our, our release. Um, you know, I was trying to give him an opportunity to walk away, have a party, and, um, you know, be honored. But Davis says he heard a statement Libby made about being forced to go, saying he was disappointed because they made sure Libby's family was taken care of. If he doesn't think he was treated fair, you know, he, he's, he could rescind his resignation and a retirement notice and his agreement and go the other way. And quite honestly, I think the city was more than fair to him. Um, we, we gave him an agreement that gave him more than we were contractually obligated to, um, just to honor his service. In regard to the hiring process for the next chief, he says it's his hire. The job will be posted, but the community won't have any input. The culture from that person that's going to lay this down and be part of this community is going to have to be really engaged, um, much more so than our pre his predecessor. I did stop by the police department today and called Matt Libby tonight to hear his side of what happened. He hung up. Major Lee Sherrod is the interim police chief. He also stepped in as interim when Libby was fired before. Davis says they have some candidates in mind and he's hoping to hire a chief within two to three weeks. The city plans to have a news conference about additional changes they're making to the police department. A time and day has not been decided on that yet.